Now, good Del Mar turf works since the last race. This is the horse who can upset the apple cart because, because the target for Joe Bravo and Count Again will be more Foza and hit the road. I think Count Again will be last. And I think that, you know, whoever makes that run, all Count, all Joe Bravo has to do is make his run at the same time Mo, For Mo Forza does, and he will be okay. That race on the track, this meet on July 24th in the grade two Eddie Reed was a pip. It was, it was a perfect tightener for this gelding. Already has a win at Del Mar because last year or last November during the Bing Crosby meet, he won the grade two C biscuit at a mile and the 16th coming from out of the clouds. Got a hundred buyer that day. Now, like I said, the target will be Mo Forza and hit the road. Look for a big, big run from count again. Like I said, that Eddie Reed prep or whatever it was, was a nice, nice prep. And that should put him right there or uh, uh, coming home, turning into the stretch. You know, it's been keeping some good company, ran in the turf classic uh, on uh, Kentucky Derby day, uh, not disgraced. Um, only missed by a length and a quarter in a field of nine. Uh, the Kill Row Mile at Santa Anita, grade one. He only missed by a half a length. Those were that both at big odds. Now, like I say, he's going to be big odds tomorrow because you have these other horses to uh, one to his outside and the others to his inside who are, you know, they have better credentials. But you should be getting around 11, 12, 13 to 1 with this gelding here. And like I said, this is the upsetter. If it's going to be an upsetter, it's going to be the five count again. A definite use for my exactas and in my pick threes. The five count again. Now the six on the outside closing out the field is Mo Forza. Now Mo Forza is two for five at Del Mar with two seconds. Eight to five on the morning line. I do not think he will be the favorite. He has not been seen since October during the Oak Tree meet at Santa Anita. Now, those buyers jump off the page at you, a 104 and a 106. He is the defending champion, Champion won this race last year by four lengths. Peter Miller, Flavian Pratt team up here. Everything looks good to this horse, you know, maybe except the post. You know, the, the layoff is, I, I just... <sighs> I just think that smooth like straight and hit the road are just runners who are too tough for Mo Forza coming off this type of a layoff on Del Mar's turf. Now Del Mar turf plays well, you know, it's, it's, it's not like Saratoga's inner that favors speed or like their melon that kind of depends on if the rails are in or out. Del Mar is firm every day. So the rails are where the rails are. It, it, it plays honest to a pace. And I'm not sure, you know, it depends on what type of pace that Morphosa gets. Now is Mo Forza going to make a run for it? Is he just going to run fifth or sixth and not make a move? No. Mo Forza, you will hear Trevor calling, here comes Mo Forza. Mo Forza will be running, trying to win this grade two uh, $300,000 race. He definitely will. I just don't think, I just don't think he's going to be able to get up. Uh, the San Luis Ray uh, works that he had, I wish they were at Del Mar. So I think this is going to push his odds up a little bit. I think, uh, from eight to five on the morning line, I think he'll be he'll be somewhere around two to one. I don't even think you'll get five to two. You'll get somewhere around two to one. I think smooth like straight will be somewhere right at nine to five or eight to five. So if you like Mo Forza, which I do not, you should be able to get a good price for him just based on those buyer numbers. I can see him floating up to five to two, three to one as they step foot on the track. And as they get closer to the post time, when people start to really get down and they start looking at that 106 and 104 buyer and they look at Flavian Pratt and they look, they go, oh, well, he's got two Delmar wins. Then you're going to get clicked down to nine. To, he's going to get clicked down to five to two. And he'll get clicked down to two to one. And I think that's somewhere where you will see Mo Forza. So do not like Mo Forza tomorrow. Will he make a run? Absolutely. My top choice, once again, is hit the road. And my second choice here is smooth, like straight. 
So that's going to end my handicapping session here, ladies and gentlemen, on Thoroughbred Ticket. Uh, hope that you have luck tomorrow at Del Mar, at Saratoga. Like I said, I will be missing in action next week because I'll be at Saratoga, but I should be back in two weeks with another handicapping show for you. Thank you for listening to Thoroughbred Ticket. You all have a wonderful evening and join me again next time. Take care. Thank you for listening to Thoroughbred Ticket, a handicapping insight of upcoming stakes and other outstanding races from major tracks in North America. So remember, as Kenneth likes to say, your winning ticket could be a life-changing winning ticket.